Hi, I'm Paige and welcome to the Manchester Community Library. I've got a bunch of things going on this week and I'm looking forward to telling you about it. Firstly, I want to make sure you know about our new exercise class that runs on Monday mornings starting at 9.15. This is a class we call it Pumped Up and it's a fitness class designed to help those with Parkinson's disease move better and feel stronger. Pumped Up incorporates strength training, boxing, and balancing exercises to help those with PD improve their functional fitness levels. Come join us for a 30-minute workout. All levels are welcome. Also on Monday, we are continuing our Jewish Film Festival series. So from 7 to 9 p.m. on Monday the 24th, we have the latest installment of the film festival, which is The Last Suit. Abraham Burstein is an 88-year-old tailor who runs away from Buenos Aires to Poland, where he proposes to find a friend who saved him from certain death at the end of World War II. After decades of no contact, Abraham will try to locate him and keep his promise to return one day. Comedic and poignant in equal measure, this late-life road movie approaches its weighty themes with a light touch that illuminates a serious story. On the vein of films, we also have our monthly movie matinee taking place this Tuesday from 2 to 4 p.m. Now, the licensing rights do not give me the ability to tell you the name of the film, but I will let you know that this is and was a very popular American anti-war musical comedy drama that's based on the 1968 Broadway musical itself. So put the pieces together, see if you can figure it out, and uh, maybe don't get a haircut this week. On Tuesday as well, uh, from 3.30 until 5, we have Art with Amelie. Now this takes place every Tuesday afternoon at 3.30, and you can join her for a session of, let's call it, art therapy. Project can range from creating jewelry and graffiti art to making masks and stuffed animals. You never know what's going to happen, but let's let art happen. So this Tuesday, uh, G Mall is back in the building from 5.30 until 7, and this time it is in conversation, the end of classical music is vastly overrated. So what is the future of classical music? Is classical music dead? And why does classical music still matter? This event is in collaboration with the Manchester Music Festival. Classical music has thrived for centuries and is one of the most powerful, moving, and enriching genres. But many say classical music is now facing its biggest challenge of all time. So join us for a thought-provoking discussion on its place in history and in today's world. We'll also hear from pre-professional musicians of the Manchester Music Festival's renowned Young Artists Program. That's Tuesday evening from 5.30 to 7. Now, you can get tickets for Gmall events on the Gmall website for $22 a piece. However, every week, Gmall generously donates 10 seats to Manchester Library uh, patrons. So if you're interested in getting a seat without the charge, you can register on, our Man on the Manchester Community Library website uh, and just make sure you do it early, right? We want to make sure that you get a spot in the event and uh, the seats are non-transferable. You have to have uh, arranged for your seat before the day of the event itself. On Wednesday, we have our once monthly meeting group all about food. All About Food meets from 2 to 4 p.m. And it is an informal discussion group, you guessed it, All About Food. So you can come in and discuss your favorite recipes or your favorite restaurants or really anything else that tickles your palate. So come on in on Wednesday from 2 to 4. On Wednesday evenings, we have another conversation group in the library. This time, it's an Italian conversation group. So from 5 to 6 p.m., you can come into the youth loft and sit and have a talk. Do you love the Italian language, but you're not sure where you can practice it? Look no farther than the Manchester Community Library on Wednesday evenings. This group of italophones enjoy a laid-back environment of conversation. There is no uh, curriculum involved in this, there is no teacher, so if you have never had any exposure to the Italian language, this may not be the group for you. This is for people who are interested in practicing having a conversation. This Saturday, we have a very special event taking place here at the library. Uh, this is part of our summer reading program, all together now, and uh, we are going to have a talented drummer, Seon Kamara, drumming on common ground. Seon Kamara is a cultural ambassador for his people, the Malinke, or Mandingo, of the San Karen region of Guinea. He is the keeper of generations of village music that he loves to share, and he loves to create joy and carry his culture forward in the world. Seon creates villages wherever he goes. His goodwill as a person, impeccable mastery of traditional drumming music, and performance as a Dijembefola, I apologize for the pronunciation of that, I'm sure it is incorrect, um, it, it, that is a person who plays the Dijembe, are magnetizing. By perfecting his artistry and his heart, he ensures that Malinke culture will be remembered. So this is an event that's going to be taking place at the library on Saturday, uh, 
Saturday, which is the 29th of July, and it will be from 11 to 12 o'clock under the tent. Sam will stage a participatory performance of traditional music from his home village in the Sankaran region of Guinea, West Africa. He is passionately and respectfully delivers the songs and stories of his people, infusing them with a gentle, electrifying warmth of pure joy and crystalline clarity combined with an impeccable sense of time. So be ready to respond with song in Sayan's original language, to hear the rich oral stories behind the music, and to feel the irresistible pull of rhythms bring you into movement and dance. And that is this Saturday. You do not want to miss this incredible cultural experience. So, meet you at the library.